Well, new details this afternoon about a house fire that killed a 90-year-old Shorewood woman. Firefighters found her unconscious and away from the biggest flames. First responders also noticed something wrong with the smoke detectors in that duplex. Jonah Kaplan has more on what the fire department calls a wake-up call to our community. Well, the house right here behind this police crime scene tape. And, well, if you're looking for a home that looks destroyed because of a fire, this isn't it. I mean, look, you see some of the paint stained with smoke and some of the windows boarded up. Firefighters say this is an example where you know that flames don't have to be so big to still prove fatal. Smoke inhalation is probably, I can't say it's the number one killer, but it's definitely something that affects people um, far more than, we see far more smoke inhalation victims than we do burn victims that are overcome by fire. Investigators report that fire started around 9, but the blaze didn't light up the neighborhood. The fire broke out in the kitchen and was contained to that general area. We did locate a smoke detector. It did have a battery inside, but it doesn't appear at this time that the smoke detector was functioning. We learned today, though, that doesn't tell the whole story. A smoke alarm didn't go off, but a carbon monoxide detector did. That might explain why the people who lived upstairs made it out alive. If it's a well-constructed house, that the fire is contained, but the smoke isn't, obviously. Mishlove knew the 90-year-old woman. He remembers her living there for more than a decade. When it became apparent that she may well be in there, um, we knocked the front door down, and um, the minute I did that, it was um, smoke billowing out, and there was no way I could go in there because um, it was filled with smoke. Three different people actually called 911 for the emergency response, and you might wonder, well, could the firefighters have gotten here quicker? Well, the standard response time is 6 minutes and 42 seconds. That's the amount of time it takes from brain death to occur. Well, North Shore Fire and Rescue, they got here in less than four. In Shorewood, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. All right, Jonah, thanks very much. Daylight savings time, perfect time to check the batteries in your smoke detectors. Reminder, we fall back this Sunday at 2 a.m. Well, still